Hello legal hustlers, in this video we will discover the foundations of political obligation theories, a concept that has fueled debates and discussions for centuries. Divine right theory of kings, idea, belief in kings having a divine right from God, people obligated to obey as if taking orders directly from God, criticism, challenged by thinkers like Grotius, Hobbes, and Locke, became outdated with the rise of practicality and democracy. Bottom line, once considered God's deputies, but lost credibility with modernization and democracy. Contract, consent theory idea, people agree to follow rules in a social contract, rulers are legitimate only with the consent of the governed, philosophical twist, Rousseau's concept of giving, general will, for a legitimate government, criticism, some see it as making the government seem like a made-up club, raises the potential for rebellion if the government fails, bottom line, shifted from divine kings to the idea of people agreeing to follow rules. Theory of force, idea, doctrine of force measure, political obligation based on the state's overwhelming power, compliance due to fear of punishment or coercion, criticism, lacks moral underpinnings and room for questioning the fairness of laws, prohibits resistance, even against unjust laws, bottom line, emphasizes compliance through power and fear, lacking depth for a comprehensive theory. Prescriptive theory, idea, legitimacy based on adherence to customary rights, authority aligns with established customs or traditions, criticism, conservative stance may endorse outdated or discriminatory traditions, ignores the dynamic nature of societies and the abandonment of irrelevant customs. Bottom line, legitimacy is tied to adherence to traditions, but faces challenges in practical application. Marxist view idea. State represents the organized power of the dominant class, obligation lies in a classless and stateless society, criticism, revolutionary change may lead to chaos and exploitation, skepticism about the potential destabilizing effects of Marxist transformation, bottom line, rejects obligation to a bourgeoisie state, envisions a classless society. Thank you for watching. We're thrilled to have you here and hope that you find our content informative, engaging, and entertaining. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to join us for further updates.